Hi there. We are here in the studio and I've got a nice little still life set up with some two dimensional and three dimensional elements. Uh, I'm going to use this as a demo for the raw plus iOS app, which gives us some more fine tuned control over exposure settings on our smartphone or tablet cameras. When we first open this app, uh, we'll want to check the settings. So that's the little gear icon. I'll just click there. And here we can change the format of the images we're capturing. Right now, this is set to JPEG, and we have options for both RAW as well as RAW and JPEG. We can uh, activate the grid uh, as well as the level. Uh, so those will give us some guides over our viewport as we're looking at our scene. I'd also like to activate this uh, highlight warning here, and that will show me some graphics over parts of the image that are overexposed. I could do the same thing for shadow. So if I had parts of the image that were too dark, uh, that could help me understand which parts in the image might not show up with as much detail as I want. Once we've set those settings, I'll click the little X in the upper right hand corner. And now we can go ahead and set our exposure settings. First, we'll take a look at white balance, and that is in the left-hand side uh, of the controls underneath the viewport. So this is a little tight on my phone, but we can just tap and hold and scroll left to right. So initially, this was set on auto, uh, and in that case, most of the time, the camera can do a pretty good job of estimating what the color temperature of the light is. Now I'm next to a nice bright window, so uh, it's a fairly cloudy day today. Uh, so our color cast uh, in terms of the color temperature of the light is going to be blue-ish. And we have a setting here for a sunny day. We have a setting for shadow. We have a setting for a cloudy day. So probably what I'd like is either the cloudy day setting or the auto white balance setting. And either one of those will give me pretty good results. Now you can see in my viewport here, uh, my exposure right now is very dark, so it's underexposed. That's telling me I need to tweak probably the ISO and or the shutter speed. Now in an app like this, we don't get control over the aperture, so we only have access to the ISO and the shutter speed. Let's go ahead and adjust the ISO. Right now this is set to 2000, and that's fairly high. Uh, so that's going to end up giving us a, a fairly grainy exposure if we were to keep that setting. And since I'm very interested in the color and the texture and the contrast in this image, I'd like a low ISO setting. So I'll just swipe to the left here on this ISO bar. And I'd like this relatively low, somewhere around 50 to 100. Now I can see my viewport is completely blacked out now. And that's because right now I have this set to a very fast shutter speed, so one five thousandth of a second. And that's probably faster than I need for this scene. So let's go ahead and tap and swipe to the right here on this lower shutter speed bar. And now I can see that my scene in the viewport is brightening up and matching more closely what I see right in front of me. And really the balance that we're trying to strike here is to capture detail both in the brighter parts of the image as well as the darker parts of the image. Uh, so for example, I can see here in these white blocks, uh, those are very bright and we have the potential there to overexpose those blocks and just blow them completely out and we won't be able to see any detail. So I'd like the image to be exposed with enough darkness and enough midtones to be able to see some of the details in the faces on these blocks. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, we have uh, these dark flowers here. So if we go too underexposed with our settings, those will just get sort of blacked out and we won't be able to see the detail in the petals. And right now, this is looking pretty good overall. Uh, I can see right here, uh, it's like right about here, those little highlights are showing up for me. And that's uh, the software telling me that part of the image is probably gonna be overexposed based on the settings that I'm using here. And we could exaggerate that a little bit by dropping the shutter speed down. And of course, I can just see visually here on my camera screen how blown out and overexposed those white parts of the image are becoming. So I'm gonna dial that back down. And 
let's get a shutter speed. I think somewhere around an 80th, maybe one 100th of a second uh, is going to be pretty good for us. So let's do that. 1 80th of a second shutter speed and 100 ISO. Now, the last thing we can do is set the focus. And this app is pretty nice, so we can just tap and hold. And there you can see I get a little uh, enlargement of the area that I'm focusing on. And as I move my finger to the left and to the right, I can really fine tune that focus. So right now I'm focused right on those flowers. Maybe I'd like to try that a little bit over here because I want to focus on those darker flowers. So a little bit farther to the left. And I think that's looking great. So I've got all my settings. This is looking pretty good. I think I have a pretty good balance of not overexposing the brighter parts, not underexposing the darker parts, and everything else in between looks pretty nice to me. So I'll go ahead and click the shutter button. And there I can see my image. Okay, so that's an overview of using the RAW Plus iOS app for digital photography.